Uh, I mean, I know they make milk. <laughs> Made in Texas is a documentary that I had an uh, idea for a couple months ago. Uh, I, I've always been fascinated by the actual making of alcohol. Actually, all the work that goes into it, how much these guys have to sacrifice and how much they have to just work their asses off to get a bottle in my hand. And when I moved to Texas about two years ago, I noticed that Texas has more local spirits than damn near any other state I've ever been to. Between whiskey, vodka, I mean, shit, Texas has rums. So I, I kind of want people to know all the hard work that goes into making the drinks that they enjoy so much. And I want to give people a greater sense of what all that is. And same goes for beer. Uh, beer is a long, arduous process that people just take for granted and they buy a six pack, don't even think about how much work and effort actually goes into that. So I'm hoping with the documentary I can shine a light on this and show people making it and tell their story so everyone kind of understands everything about it. It's important to me because we're personally, like we're showing them off and we want to show from start to the middle to the rough times to the end when they make it or they fail just depending on how things go and in my life right now just graduated doing film me Matt and Joe three of us and we started this it's our project we're starting our own thing and I think if we get a good representation on this, it's a forward step and for us to be made in Texas. <laughs> I'm trying to think of an answer that doesn't make me seem like an al alcoholic, but I I've just always been fascinated by, by alcohol ever since I was younger, even when I didn't drink. Uh, something about mixing two things together, making it taste like something completely different has always been crazy. So I, I've just always been in the alcohol world. And alcohol, more than any other consumer product, is a pain in the ass. Especially here in Texas. TABC has some of the strictest laws I've ever even heard of as far as alcohol goes. Not just the stores having to close at a certain time, or your bars having to serve a certain percentage of food to be open on Sundays, but just how much these people have to pay on top of what they've already paid to make the product. How, much, how many hoops these people have to jump through just to get a bottle in your hand. Honestly, I, I don't know why people do it. It's so much more work than it needs to be, yet somehow Texans strive and persevere and end up making more products than any other state. And it's just crazy. Just, I just want to thank everybody. I uh, want to say thank you to even looking at this video, because that's crazy. You're an insane person. Like, the people who donate even a dollar to a random stranger on the internet. <laughs> You're an insane person, but thank you. You are what makes stuff like this happen. I do want to thank all of our Facebook fans that we have, everyone who follows us and likes us, and everyone who contributes to this campaign. It's a great help, and we do appreciate it a lot. And we have a lot of great things coming in the future, and it wouldn't be possible without any of you guys.